My name is Andrea Wilson, a native Washingtonian, and I am a database administrator. A database administrator is someone who administers to a database, either front end or back end. I do simple maintenance, upgrades, uh, patches, additions of software. I basically maintain data. I went into the military when I was very young. I was about 17 years old. I graduated high school a year early. Um, I excelled in high school, and so uh, teachers and parents thought that it was okay for me to skip a couple of grades. I did that and graduated in 1998. Um, because I was so young, it wasn't time for me to enter the workforce yet. I still had some discipline uh, to, to learn and to tackle and uh, in education and to see where I wanted uh, my life to go and in what direction. So the military was a great uh, foundation for me to do that. It allowed me to grow up. Uh, it allowed me to have some structure to my life, to have some savings uh, uh, as far as funds and money. Uh, and also when I got out or when I finished completing uh, serving my country, I was able to, you know, go to school on, uh, you know, essentially for free or with very minimal um, you know, tuition. I was a 92 Alpha. It's a supply sergeant or supply grunt. Uh, basically, uh, we handled everything, uh, all the way down to the plates at the dining hall, uh, uh, radiators, uh, things that were used for choppers, aircrafts, uh, pretty much anything, anything, all the nuts and bolts uh, that happened for the Army, that's what we maintained. I don't want to say easy, I want to say a challenging transition. Uh, during the time I, I got out was 03. Uh, there was war going on. Uh, a lot of my friends and, and, and close people that I had grown up with were, were, were going to war. And these were still the same young adults. You know, I got out, I was barely 22, 23 years old. And um, you still don't know so much uh, of the world. But to be in a part of the world that's so torn apart um, and, 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 uh, and war torn. Um, is, is something that anybody's eyes, uh, any young adult's eyes, you know, shouldn't see. So I'm uh, doing security and standing on posts with guys who, you know, have the same credentials as me. A lot of them were military, prior military as well. And uh, somebody mentioned uh, Jelani. Oh man, the impact has essentially changed my life. Um, it's not just the money. I talk a lot about uh, the military because there's so much honor in the military. There's so much loyalty. A lot of the core values that I got, you know, from the military were instilled in me from way before. You know, my mom uh, raised me as a single parent, and uh, these are some of the same values that she shared with me, you know, through my upbringing. Uh, the military really just enhanced them and gave me focus. Um, Jelani carries a lot of that same characteristic. Uh, the loyalty is there. There's no time that I cannot reach out uh, to either a teacher or a student uh, or even the owner sometimes and, and be able to get a response back. They're real people. They're there. Uh, the community that's there and created, um, it will never necessarily leave you hanging. If there's something that you don't know, if you've gone through the course and would like to go through the course or would like to do more, you know, there's opportunities where you can help or become the assistant to the teacher where you have a direct connection to a person who's working in the field and who's also able to teach. That's something special and that's not um, that's not at your ECPI, that's not at your test college for you to be able to reach out and actually touch um, you know somebody who cares and, and, and that's what I've gotten from Jelani. I am just about um, over sixty dollars an hour um, I make a very good living. Uh, it's not necessarily all about the dollars, but uh, right off the break, I earn PTO. It's not something that, um, you know, you have to be in the company for a year or something like that to get. Um, uh, the perks are tremendous. I work at one of the highest levels uh, of military organizations that we have in this country. It's just a real sense of self a real sense of accomplishment to be a database administrator at this level. Um, and those are all things that I got either from, you know, going to school and sitting with students at Jelani Consulting or um, even some of the students that work, you know, in my field and in my building, uh, you know, for some of the same high level organizations that I'm telling you about. 
uh, that I see them in passing or at, at lunchtime. So it's just a, a grand thing to have that sense of community and know that you're not alone after you've completed your courses. Not only did Jelani give me a sense of production, uh, in this field you'll learn that there are test environments and then production environments. Uh, the first chance, the first time around going through this course was a test environment for me. I didn't understand the language. I wasn't grasping the concept. Uh, I was able to come back through the course a second time. And in that second time, I was ready to produce. I was there for full-on production. And so was Jelani. So were the teachers. So were the students. It's like surrounding yourself with people who want to go and move in the same direction. Jelani Consulting is not just about database and information technology. It's about community. And Gerald is, you know, given this opportunity, opening these doors for young people, for people of all ages to come inside Jelani and learn an actual trade, something that can be a serious career move and is in very high demand. There are 10 jobs for every two people studying IT right now. And he will show you these things. He will tell you these things. There's motivational sound bites that uh, are played throughout the class just to keep you motivated, to keep you informed, to keep you wanting something more. And if you want something more, I think Jelani Consulting would definitely be the place for you. In order to do you know, anything in life, you have to be driven, right? You have to want it. You have to want to uh, at least care about what it is that you're doing. Um, in one of uh, another conversations that I had, I, I bring up the organizations that we work for, right? So the United States Army, which was where I served, uh, the United States Air Force, which is where I work, the United States Marine Corps, which is where my younger cousin served, uh, the United States Navy, which is another cousin of mine, is serving, um, the United States Coast Guard. These branches are our branches of service. These are our branches of, you know, the extension of life. Uh, these are our, our frontline soldiers. Uh, they go out there and they fight for us day in and day out. Um, and so our job at home is to fight for them. And how do we protect them? Through computers. Uh, it is the wave of the century. If you have a cell phone, you're using a computer. Um, so if you think that you feel a little timid about getting into something so heavy, the network side of it or the actual, um, you know, background side to computers, you know, because it's, it's not necessarily the front end or typing in a, you know, URL and going to a web page or a, a website. Um, it's actually being able to eventually learn to create that website, um, be able to monitor uh, that website and manage that website. Um, and even all the data, and it's a huge responsibility. If you guys want to get into something that is a career move, something that is in high demand all over the country, I mean, you name it. You want to do business at home, there's, it's possible. You want to travel the world and still do business, it's very possible. You want to support some of the largest and most credible uh, organizations in the world, it's very possible. You want to make a ton of money, that's also very possible. To be able to get to this school, it's right off the Green Line, Greenbelt Metro Station. Anybody who knows about the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, everything is pretty much moving and grooving off of that subway station. It's right across Across the street from the subway station. There are rates that are affordable. Uh, the teachers, they work with you, and nobody's necessarily put out uh, because they're uh, moving slower than another student. They take the time, and they may come in an extra hour early or stay an extra hour late to work with you. Um, Jelani is the wave of the future. I'm thankful to have been introduced to uh, this organization, and I definitely look forward to uh, the promotional things that he has coming in the future uh, because I know that it's just going to grow.